Good morning, modern steaders. We got quite a bit of rain last night, guys. I'll have to check the rain gauge, but look at this. Oh, look at all that rain. I bet that means the rainwater bucket in New York City in the pasture pig mobile got filled up last night, which is good because we were getting pretty low, guys. Oh. Come on, and pigs. You liking your new pasture area? I think the pigs are enjoying a new pasture area. Some fresh grass to eat down, huh guys? Is that good stuff? A weather alert just came up on the phone. Dense fog for the area. I don't know what they're talking about. We don't have any fog this morning. Good morning, girls. Come on in. Oh, buttercup. Don't get your mother's attitude. You ready for some grain? There you go. There's been a lot of people asking for a time lapse of the complete farm build once we're done. I've been saving our footage and I plan on doing that once it's all done. I'm hoping in the next week or two we can have that video up. Good morning, kiddos. What are you doing, little pea? Hmm. You coming in, Blossom? Traffic jam. Oh, kids, I can't wait to use, can't fit in the feeder anymore. You know you've been working some long days when you wake up to your alarm clock going, what day is today? Oh, it's Sunday morning. And then it's like, oh no, it's not. It's still the week. <laughs> yeah. Once the barn build's done, I'll we'll have to take a day off and go fishing, guys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. do some trout fishing. That sounds like a plan. I keep forgetting to tell you guys, in these damp, foggy mornings, we've been losing a few meat birds here and there. I think they're, it's just the dampness and it's very very raw and wet in the air. I don't think it's good for the chicks. I'm hoping we're past that point now. Good morning, CWC. Morning, guys. In this chicken tractor, we got our black copper marrons and our olive egg layers that we're raising up for colored eggs. We have five. No. Where's the fifth one? Ah, uh, we're missing an olive egg layer. What? One, two, seven. Um, hmm. We had five chickens in there yesterday. The perimeter looks tight, there's no holes. There's all ground contact. I don't understand how we're missing a chicken. See if we can find any feathers or anything. I see a few feathers over here. I see a couple of feathers over here and they are that grayish color of the olive egg layer, but there's not many of them. So I'm gonna say a predator got an olive egg layer. But I don't know how. I don't know how, how they got into the chicken tractor. The top wasn't locked, so they must have got in the cover and got one chicken out. I'll have to make sure we lock the cover up from now on. Did you ladies hear a predator last night, huh? Did you hear anything going on? We got more rain in there. Oh yeah, that filled back up. Not completely, but. I bet you we got 15 to 20 gallons worth of water last night in that 55 gallon drum. I'm still really bamboozled about that. I don't see a predator going inside the chicken tractor, 
getting one chicken out and leaving with just one. It doesn't make any sense, guys. I don't know. How are the meat birds doing this morning? So I wonder if whatever got into the other chicken tractor tried getting into the top of this one, but couldn't. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to make sure we lock the tops up every day. We don't need to be losing any more chickens. Yep, there we go. It's been a little hectic morning here on the farm. I wasn't able to capture all that. What just happened is the electrician came and we blew a thin line through our conduit pipe. We tied a Lowe's grocery bag on the end of it. And we took a shop vac, we put it on blower mode and we were up high by the house and blew the line through. And then once he did that, he took the line out, measured it, and we tied on a heavier duty of rope. And this is going to be the rope that we'll pull the cables through with. I hired an electrician to install my circuit breaker boxes. That's one thing I don't like to do. The first thing I want to do this morning is I want to install the entry door right here on the barn. The plants call for leaving this six by six. That way, if you're building on a gravel base instead of a concrete base, you have more of a sturdier building. But where we're building on top of concrete and then I have a sill plate underneath that, we can remove the six by six. <sighs> going good, going good. Do need to flip the blade around. There we go. This way I can get closer to the ground. Let's see. Close. Bet we're through there. If we're not, we'll finish it up with the handsaw after. All right, let's get this finished cut and get it out of our way. I think we're through. It's gotta be. Let's check it out. A few more cuts. I think that side's done. Let's check this side. That side's gotta be done. Oh, I got a couple of nails or something right there, toe nailed in. That'll do it. Oh, I think there's another one right here. Yep. That'll do it. I think. Now we just need the bar. There we go. So much nicer just having the two by six to walk over. I'm gonna need to add another two by four, five and a half inches down. We need another one at 34 and a half. And we got 35 and a quarter. That'll work perfect. 34 and a half. And then I want to start trimming out for the homemade doors we're gonna be building. we can use part of this board right here. Yep. Cut this down to the length we need and we can grip it down to width on the table saw and this will go above our door. Cut this one down to 34 and a half.
perfect fit. Like it was made for it, guys. Like it was made for it. I love it. Looks like we're gonna need a Phillips head bit. Get our door out. Is it just Let's get it in the barn area at least. I like it. It's gonna open just the way we need it to. Got a couple of staples holding it. There we go. Perfect. Let's double check the sill plate. It should be level, but right on the money. Nice and square there. That's nice and square. That one is nice and square. So I'm gonna go ahead and install my trim work right here for now. All right, let's put that one on this side and this one on this side. All right, let's get this. Trim put in place and it'll help hold the door for us. Let's set the bottom where we would like it. Let's get the trim nice and level. quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch, seven eighths, and one inch. All right, so we can cut some fillers to put behind these hinges, and then we'll screw into the hinges to get that side secured. What is the thickness here? Three quarters, that'll be perfect. One, two, three. There. How's this one? That one's good. So let's do need a little bit thicker, so we'll trim off some of this. rubbing right on this corner.
made our own shim for up here. So sucking that corner of the door, kind of tweaked this whole thing like this. So it picked the bottom part of my door up a bit. So that way we're not dragging now. I like it. There we go. Perfect. Oh, much nicer. Boom. Boom. One. Two. Thirty nine and seven eighths. Oops. Thirty nine and seven eighths. Coming to your workshop. We can push them down in a wedge and sandwich everything nicely. Oh, I like that. Let's see. Yep. The only thing left on the door is the doorknob now. We'll save that for later. We need to trim out this corner before we forget. Eighty-two and a half. main part of the kit the siding stops in the middle of the six by six the part that we're customizing I put our siding down to the floor because we don't have the six by six so I'm gonna cut a piece of trim to go behind the trim that will hide that so we need to go four and three eighths Go this way. 
here. Task is that. I like that right there. Getting overall length. It's getting overall length for on top of the door. 45 and three quarters. Fill a strip. Let's dry fit this piece. It goes right here. Let's fill a strip. Oh, I like that. Let's put a little bit of glue on it, just since it's such a small piece. We have the glue right here. Nice once it's all done. This side's going to be 66 and 38. We need to cut the filler strip for that side first. And that one needs to be an inch. Dry fit this piece. Should be able to get all three pieces out of it. Six and three eighths. Oh, that breeze feels nice coming through that door. I'll do that one there, and we'll do this one like this here. Get 
one's doing it right here. Oh, I like seeing all that glue oozing out. Yes. Perfect. I like that right there. Right, so now we're going to need a piece that is inch and three sixteenths inch and three sixteenths so go inch and an eighth by do 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 inch and an eighth by 49 and seven eighths okay. now we need to go inch and an eighth So just because it's such a small strip. I saved you from having to watch me trim out the back door. But I just ripped down our top piece, the two and a half. Let's get it over where it needs to be first, I guess. Grab my hammer. You're keeping an eye on the build, Figaro. We doing a good job, huh? We doing a good job. We've done so much since you've been gone. Yeah. The barn and we moved the pigs. Uh-huh. You gotta walk farther to go feed them now. Oh, you even put the board and batten things Yeah, we did the board and batten. We finished the garage door, got some windows in. Right on Chop's nose. Yep. And in the face. Cute kiddos need some water. Oh, you drink all your water. Yep. Let's let the goats out this afternoon. I bet they'll love it. He says, I'm the king of the spool. He's the king of the stool. Spool. And Magnolia and Little P, a king of the woodpile. Or queens of the woodpile, I should say. Yeah. Put your hands down low, pick it up from the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Is it going to fall if I let go of it? No. Like if I didn't put it up all the way? Or? Yeah, it won't fall. Lucky you got a door. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you see that? Yeah, it's a lot more than you Oh, yeah?
You like the batten strips? Yeah. Yeah. How many eggs you think today? How many, how many did you get yesterday? I think yesterday was 18. Then 16. 16. Oh, there'll probably be two chickens in here. Yep. Yep. Ah! The silky goes broody every year. No. I'm still completely bamboozled with trying to figure out how we lost that olive egg layer. The only thing I can think of is they opened up the cover on the chicken tractor and went in there, took out one chicken. That just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't see how that would happen, but I guess we'll never find out. Leave it in the comments down below. Let me know how you think it happened, but man, it's just kind of odd. Tomorrow, we have a guest coming to the homestead. I think you guys are going to enjoy the visit. I know I'm looking forward to the visit. We're going to be getting some answers, some questions answered. A lot of the questions you guys have been having going on about the barn build. So I think this person coming on will be able to answer these questions for us. So I'm excited for tomorrow, and I hope you guys are too. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.